guys. Look at the oozing pastry cream in this delicious shamrock puff pastry here. Cream puff, guys. I'm so excited to be making these for you live. Um, it's St. Patty's Day. It's coming up around the corner. Um, I just had to eat that. But um, yeah, I'm live today here in Texas making for you pâte de choux. It is a beautiful French dough. And check it out right here. It's real nice and fluffy as I wash my hands real quick. And um, yeah, I'm super excited because this is one of my favorite desserts to make. It's actually a childhood memory. My mom made these for me when I was a kid in the cutest little bears. And um, yeah, I think it's just perfect for St. Patty's Day. You don't want to get pinched, so why not make your dessert green <laughs> by adding some green sprinkles on here. So I'm live in Texas. Where are you guys watching from? It's a beautiful day today. And um, yeah, let's get making these cream puffs. Okay, so I'm going to start off with, oh, and by the way, my mom is camera lady today. So tell her hi, tell her good luck. And uh, yeah, leave me comments where you're from. Mom, is there any good comments on there? Not we want yet. to hear your voice. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. She's really good. And if you notice, she production designed my beautiful kitchen. She's awesome. Okay. Yes. And, uh, okay, let's begin. Pot. Got a pot. We're going to put in some water. This is like the easiest dough to ever make. So I've just got some water in there. And then I've got six tablespoons of butter, unsalted butter. Guys, it's that easy. And then I'm putting it on the stove. And we just want that to boil. It's super, super simple. Um, so while that's going to boil, you're going to be adding, I've got one cup of flour here. Simple, a little pinch of salt. I'm gonna put it in the flour so everything will be incorporated. Come on, look at this right here. And then a little sugar. So we just wanna incorporate all that together. I'm gonna use my finger, why not? Have you guys ever made uh, pat de choux dough? Anybody? So pat de choux is actually a culinary term that was developed in the 1917? Seven, seven, what? 17? 1917? Tell me. 1700s. See, she knows. 70, okay, the 1700s. And it actually is the word for, mom? Cabbage. Cabbage, guys. So when it starts to grow and bake, it kind of looks like a cabbage. It has lots of different little layers and stuff. But what's cool is inside, it's hollow, and we're going to pipe fresh pastry cream. So at the end of this video, I'm going to have a link, uh, directions and whatnot, so you can make fresh pastry cream. I already made it for us. So it takes a, a while to do that. It needs to cool down, but I recommend making that. Okay, so we're still boiling over here. We want this to boil. Here, let me show you what we're doing. Got a little boiling going. Gonna melt the butter. Hmm. Look at that. Hey guys, if you're just joining, we're making cream puffs. You want to check out this cream puff I'm making? Right here, isn't it cool? Hmm. Isn't that neat? There we go. Weird. Okay. And it's filled with pastry cream. Look at that. Oh, and it has fresh vanilla bean. In there, I recommend finding a vanilla bean, but who's excited for St. Patty's Day? I know my sister is about to go have a fun little uh, weekend of fun. But yeah, we're just making some fresh pat de choux dough, and this is just water and butter melting. We're waiting for it to boil. Okay guys, we're back. Look at this, it's starting to boil. Isn't this awesome? This is just water and butter. Here it goes, starting to boil. Okay, once it starts to boil, we're taking it right off of our burner here. And now we're gonna add that flour that we had. Super simple, flour, salt, a little bit of sugar. And our dough's gonna start to form but as you can tell, it's looking a little clumpy, right? So we're gonna put it back on the stove for like
like one to two minutes so that flour can actually cook. So here we go, back to the stove. Turn it back on. Oops. Okay. And you kind of, uh, sorry, want the dough to pull away from the side. Eee, just a little bit. See how it's turning into a ball? And you know it's ready when it starts to combine together like that and pull away off the sides. And I kind of just like, I use a larger bowl too so you're getting more circumference. So, all right. Bing, bing, bing. For some reason we can't see your comments today. I'm so sorry. Maybe my sister can yell some stuff out. Laura, any cool comments to read? For some reason we can't read them. Woohoo! Hey, thanks for that. Whoa, that's really awesome. Okay, who else? Who else is watching? We got people from Germany, Illinois, Albania, Pakistan. Hey guys, okay, yeah, we're just making this pate choux dough. Sorry, we can't read your comments today. I'm getting a facial. Oh yeah, it feels good. And um, the pate choux dough now needs to rest for like one to two minutes. See how hot it is? Because we're going to be adding two egg eggs, the full egg, sorry. And we don't want them to cook. So we just want to cool it off just a tad. And uh, leave me in the comments below what kind of fun, um, like, maybe shapes you guys would make. Normally they're puffed into a little round ball and um, filled with the pastry cream. Or my mama was telling you made me for my birthday these cute little teddy bears, mom. Dancing bears. Dancing bears, that's it right. It was a ballet theme. It was ballet. Did you put pastry cream in there too? Yes, I did. How old was I? Uh, for what birthday? Eight. Eight? <laughs> nice. Yes, uh, if you don't know, I I, my love for cooking started with my mom. She's back there. She doesn't want to be shown. <laughs> But yeah, she would always be in the kitchen making me things, and I would sit up on the counter and watch her. So, now, hey, if you're just tuning in, we're making shamrock puff pastry puffs. And we just made the dough from scratch, which is so simple to make. Alright, now I've got me a little piping bag. It's blue, and it's turned pink over the years. It's my favorite thing. Oh, wait. First, durr, we gotta add the eggs. Sorry. Okay, come on in here. We're gonna add the eggs. Two. We have two eggs. And it starts to look like it's curdling or not doing what you want. That's okay. It's just gonna come together in a second. So don't give up if it looks weird. So just keep mixing that all in there. Any other fun comments, Laura? Laura. Laura's my sister. I can't wait to see you them. Yes! I know. These are really awesome because they have nice hollow, um, it, it's hollow inside so the pastry cream can fill all the way inside there so each bite you're getting this like delicious uh, pastry and puff and creaminess. So see how that's coming together? You'll get a nice arm workout. <laughs> And our number two, my hand's a little asleep. Give it some life again. Our second egg. And if you're just tuning in, guys, this is pate choux dough we're making from scratch. And we're turning the dough into cute shamrocks for St. Patrick's Day. In America, we have St. Patrick's Day on March 17th. And um, it's a dumb holiday, really. What? what, 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 what no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not a dumb holiday. I'm like, we get candy? I don't know. We drink. Um, we drink. There you go. No, St. Patrick. We all get to be Irish and drink. There you go. We, we get to be Irish and drink, which I am technically. Which we are. I am an Osteen. <laughs> I am Irish. So, see, I can say those things. Like, whatever. Okay, so we're almost there. My arm's killing me. Okay. Woohoo. We've got this lovely pate choux dough. Okay. Come together. And now we can put it in the giant piping bag. 
need some life back into my arm. It's really heavy. All right. So fill that up with the dough. Mm, this is so easy to make. It smells good too. Okay. So then that is ready. And my trick to making it a shamrock is I found a shamrock cookie cutter. And I recommend maybe buying two because you have to only do one at a time. But I've just put it on my slip mat here. Gonna spray it down with a little spray, cooking spray, so it won't stick. And then you just pipe it in there. So simple. So guys, if you want, you could do this for a birthday party. Get like a unicorn cookie cutter and make unicorn cream buffs. Oh my goodness. And have the unicorn with a bunch of sprinkles on inside or any shape at all. Any shape. Any shape. <clears throat> okay. So yeah. Just kind of putting it all in there. And then if you want, you can take your finger and wet it a little bit and just press it on in there. Do, 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 do. Make it flat. Isn't that cute? And now you bake the entire thing. So we're going to bake this. I have the oven at 425. Mine is a little low, so if you want, you can use uh, 400. Sorry, I have a tickle. <laughs> so 400, 425, whatever your oven's like. Um, and this will bake for 15 minutes. So put that in there. Got this going for 15 minutes. Then we're going to turn it down to 325 degrees and bake it for another 10, 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes. And uh, after that goes off, I get a little knife and I take a slit right in the top and let it cook for maybe another minute. It's a very temperamental little dough, but um, it's all good. To let the steam out. To let the steam out, exactly. So it dries out in the middle. So once it's baked, it looks like this gorgeous shamrock. Isn't that cool? It's got very hollow inside. And I put my pastry cream with a tip. And we're just going to take the cream puff, stick it inside there. And it should go, oh, see, it's coming out there. And if it's coming out, try another little hole. And you just kind of squeeze that delicious pastry cream inside, which is so good. It's got Vanilla beans is very flavorful. So all little little nooks and crannies. This one's gonna be good. Look how big he is. Okay, you see I just stick that in there. This one has a hole from where I slid it, but oh it's gonna get nice and full. And then the top looks like he's got a nice air pocket right in there. Just keep squeezing until you start seeing it come out. This one's gonna be good. This one's getting all oh and it squirted everywhere. Okay, this one is my favorite. Okay, then next, we're going to melt some chocolate down. I've got just chocolate chips. I put a little coconut oil in there, so to get a little drizzly. Pour that right on top, because who doesn't want chocolate in their life? Right, who wants chocolate? Anybody? Chocolate, shamrock, cream puffs. And then, with your gorgeous day, you need to wear green, so I put a little green sprinkles. Sprinkle that on top. Darling! Okay, let's split him open and eat it. Ready? Check it out. Come close. Come close. Let's see. Oh, that's gorgeous, guys. Uh-huh. Oh. Mmm, delicious! <laughs> now I got chocolate all over my face. Mmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, find me. I'm Lovely Lady Cakes. Go find me on Facebook if you have any questions. I'll answer your questions. Um, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I'm always snapping. So I'll see you guys later next Thursday. We'll make something fun together. See you later. Bye-bye. Check it out, that little cutie.